Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday morning starter. Well, I'm in the National Park at a new spot I've never recorded here before. And I'm standing on a rock amongst the trees and down there is Fox Head where we surf quite often. So I thought I'd just find a new spot. All right, here I go. I wanna to talk to you today about something that I don't know much about, but I know one thing about, and that's race car driving. So what the heck does race car driving have to do with our lives? Everything. So race car drivers, and I don't know how to race a car by the way, but race car drivers are trained that the car will follow where their focus goes. So if they're flying around a corner and they feel they're gonna slide out or something, they're trained not to look at the wall because the car, the rest will follow where their focus goes. And that's exactly like our life. Where your focus, the rest will follow. So if you, if you wanna change something in your life right now, it starts with your thought. It starts with the thought that you're thinking about the thing. You give that thing thought, you think about it, you think about it, even if you don't wanna do it. If you wanna kick a habit that you've got, and you don't wanna do something anymore, it starts with you thinking about it. It's not doing the actual thing. It's what you focus on you become. Where your focus goes, energy flows. It's exactly like car racing. It's exactly like the wall. If you focus on the wall, you'll smash into it. And in your life, there's things that you focus on and that's what you end up living. So if you're at a, here you go, here you go. People with not enough money. So you, you must know some people in your life with not enough money. What are they always talking about? That's too expensive, this is too much, government's charging too much, everything's too expensive, they're ripping us off, can't believe the cost of living. That's what they're focused on. They are absolutely focused on that and that's the main thing that's going on in their energy vibration. And here's the thing, when you focus on something, you think about something, you focus on it, you draw it to you like a big magnet. It keeps pulling it to you. That's why race car drivers are trained not to look at the wall because they'll pull it towards themselves. In your life, you're making it. You are making your life, whatever you want it to be. Nobody else, you're in total control of your life. Ever thought about that? Just like the race car. The race car doesn't drive itself, the person sitting in the seat does. Your life is the same. Your life is just the race car. And it can go as fast as you want, it can go as great as you want, or it can crash into the wall like we do at different times. And here's the funny thing. Race car drivers, yes they crash, for sure but they don't keep talking about it for the next three years, about the crash. Because if you keep talking about the crash, you're gonna get more of it in your life. That's how it works. So sure, your girlfriend could have left you six months ago, but stop talking about it. Focus on something else. And you know what will happen? A new person will come into your life. But as long as you keep whinging and talking and complaining and going over it, over it, over it, over it, over it again in your mind, you're just creating it again and again and again and again and again. Here's what I live by. I have a vision that's a page and a half long and it's what I read all the time. It's what I think about all the time and it's what is happening in my life right now. Does that mean things happen that you don't want to happen? Of course not, but just don't dwell on them. It's exactly why, and I reckon the best thing to prevent something happening is just don't give it any energy, if that makes sense. What's, what's easier? The um, Prevention is better than the remedy. That's exactly what I was thinking about. Prevention is better than the remedy. So when you're living something, it's real, it's raw, and it's sort of like happening. It's very hard to change your focus. You've got to do it slowly. And here's how you do it. When you wake up in the morning, be committed to giving yourself the opportunity to feel great and focus on things that feel really, really good. Those first 10 to 15 minutes in the morning is gonna set your day up for the rest. But if you wake up still thinking about the thing that you're not happy with or it's not going right from last night or yesterday or yesterday, because you get a break when you sleep. But when you wake up, if you just start thinking a brand new set of thoughts, a brand new set of feelings, a brand new set of energy, you're gonna change. Your life is gonna change. Things are gonna follow and you won't crash into the wall anymore. It will go, your life will morph into something else and you will absolutely work out the secret to achieving success in your life, whatever that may be. 
Think about it. What are you focused on right now? If your life isn't going that great, think about what you're focused on and change it. If it's going fantastic, think of something even more fantastic to focus on and it will go even better. When you hit little bumps, don't focus on them, don't talk about them, keep driving your race car as fast as you can and remember, don't focus on the wall. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.